you go. That'll really keep my wife happy. Where you where you picked up from? So October growing up for me was a very, very, very traumatic time. Why? I'll tell you why. Because I never had a Halloween pumpkin. Sure, I'd go into the stores and I'd see all the decorations and I'd go down the road and I'd see in windows that'd be illuminated with these big pumpkins and eyes and mouths, etc. What did I do? I just cried. I cried every October. From the 1st of October, how many days? 30 days, till the 31st. Every day of October, I cried. I cried because I didn't have a pumpkin. So then I had a dream. And that dream was that one day, everybody, and I mean everybody, could have a Halloween pumpkin. Now pumpkins can be expensive, and pumpkins can be heavy. And thirdly, pumpkins can be very difficult to cut up and etc. and all that sort of stuff, right? And it's a waste. So that's why I had a dream, and that dream was the pepper ween. Now, it's quite simple. Mm. You don't want to go without. No way, and why should you? I don't care whether you're boy, girl, black, white, where you're from. Doesn't matter. Reload. Because everybody should enjoy Halloween. So that's why I introduce the pepper wing. Very simple. All you need to do is choose your peppers of colour, whatever you prefer. It's quite simple. Now, before you start, you, you just draw the outline where you want. If you get a pen that works, you draw it. And, and you can be quite creative, you see here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right, and I'm going to make the first one a red one. Right, we're going to have a red pepperine, and I'll show you how we'll have these prepared, ready and ready to glow. Not go, but ready to glow in just about five minutes. I'm, I'm talking about, well, maybe we need about three minutes per pepperoni, I suppose. So let's, let's call it six minutes. But it's fun for the kids. Give them a sharp knife. Keep some band-aids ready. Put a little good wine. And you too can make the pepperoni. So here we go, folks. It's very simple. Using a knife, you just... Now, you carefully remove the top of the pepper, like so. Now, I did want to have some a little bit of blood, but seeing I don't have the nurse here, we, we won't today. Now, you remove the lid, right? Now, that's quite simple. You see the lid comes out like quite pretty too, isn't it, right? Yeah, you like that? You like that? Yeah, that's the centre of the pepper wing. Do them both at the same time, because it's simple. If you follow simple instructions, and I'm talking simple instructions, there's nothing difficult about this. You too, in a few minutes, will have your very own pepper wing. Carefully break that out, nice and easy. Yeah, knock the seeds out, knock the seeds out. It's pretty easy, or you get this appliance. Now, I'm working under a bit of pressure here because of time, folks, time. So, normally they would have said I prepared one earlier, but not with Volmeister, no freaking way. You get the real McCoy. So let's knock this shit out of the way, right? Here's number one. We get rid of that stuff. Let's go for number two. We're still on time, I hope. How are we doing for time, timekeeper? Mm -hmm. We're doing all right. I'm the timekeeper. Thanks very much. So there we are. We knocked the shit out of the inside of that one. Right, we're ready to go. Now, how do we do this next? Let's make a mouth in each. Let's make a mouth. Aha! You thought I'm silly. No way. Here we go. We're going to make a mouth. down here, cut down here. Be very careful of your fingers, right? Knock out a mouth. You've got a pepper wing mouth. There we are. We need, we need some eyes now. We need some eyes. So, with the eyes, very simple technique. Just That's not the simplest technique, Max. That was bloody stupid. But anyway, you'll get the idea. Bit of practice. Now, I'm working under pressure here. So, obviously, when working under such pressure, you are going to make small mistakes. I had a mate of mine, he, he lost a thumb doing this, and I call that a small mistake, but others, some people, people that would, if you're a musician, a guitarist, you'd be pretty pissed off, wouldn't you, I suppose? Now look, let's just make one today. No hey, bullshit, I said I'm going to make two, I'm going to make two. There's one, there's one. Now, you break the bottom off the base, nice and easy, it looks like a donut or a bagel, very simple. 
you could confuse people. Let's go for number two quickly. I did say five minutes. Let's get an eye. Now smart move is get, get your eyes out first. One eye. Two eye. Now that eye needs to be a bit bigger. So you just go in there and you just grate around. You make the second eye there. This one's having a nose. The other one's not having a nose. We're just going to have a small nose on this baby. I think we're still within time. How are we doing on time, timekeeper? You're doing fine. Thanks very much. I'm the timekeeper. Everybody else, fuck off. This is my show. Right now, let's just get back, back in here in our pepper weenie. Nearly there. This baby needs a mouth. Give him a little mouth. Give this one a little, really tiny mouth. I like a tiny mouth on this son of a bitch, right? He's got a tiny mouth. He's a cigar smoking twat. All right, now, now we're really nearly ready to go, right? <sighs> okay, you got yourself, you got yourself, you pick out all the bits, you're ready to go, folks. Now, this is where, this is the vital part of the pepperoni, right? You've seen it here, you've seen it here today with Max Volmeister, the pepperoni. Now, what makes this work? Once again, we pick out, we've got a bagel for you all. We've now got the pepper bagel. That's just a byproduct of the pepperoni, is the pepper bagel. But now, folks, ladies and gentlemen, here you are for the ultimate effect on your pepperoni. You grab your device, you put in your password, 6666, of course, which is mine. That's it. Now, here's how you make the pepperoni work. You right? You ready for this, folks? Dark room, dark. You put on your torch. You got your torch. Have you got a damn torch? Now, this will work when it works. Well, what you do, ladies and gentlemen, you sit, you, can you press that button? Maybe my finger's got too much pepper on it. I don't know. So, next thing you do, ladies and gentlemen, you get your device with a torch, you put it, the torch on, you set your pepperoni on top, that illuminates the pepperoni, and there you have it, the Volmeister pepperoni. Everybody deserves a happy Halloween. Ah! Over.